change one thing, have you? Wow. <clears throat> Bias. Hey Nick, the house. It's yours. Finally, after so long. Thanks, man. What? It's been years. Decades at least, <clears throat> since I've been inside this house. I lived here when I was just a kid, with my family. My mom, my siblings, my, uh, my dad. I received a call from Tobias telling me that they were finally ready with the repairs this morning. Took them long enough. <laughs> it's funny. Even after what happened, and all that time away from home, it looks just like I remembered it to be. Is my memory that precise? Uh, of course, things like the furniture and photos aren't here anymore, but, hey, can't blame anybody for that. <laughs> right, right. I guess I better use that memory for something useful. I don't have the full story, nor do I know why it happened, but I can tell you how it started. Everything else is up to you to figure out. This is the story of the night I lost my home, my childhood, and almost my family. When Five Nights at Freddy's just ended. <sighs> How's it going, my fuzzy family? Oh, man. My name is Panda Hub, and welcome to the Joy of Creation story mode. Now... I've seen a lot of different YouTubers play this already, and a lot of them have done phenomenally well. Of course, you know, Markiplier, the self-proclaimed king of Five Nights at Freddy's, <laughs> um, has already gone through multiple stages of it, and I am going to try my hand at it. I know that I didn't finish the original Five Nights at Freddy's, I'm going to be doing that here soon. Well, let's get started anyways. The bedroom. Forgotten memory. Oh, God. Hello? Uh, what are you doing in our house? Yes, yes. Yeah, my name is Panda Hub. He's psychotic. Exactly. Looks like a murderous sunlight. Murderous sunset. Someone's gonna die. He killed someone. Hello, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. After that, Dad carried the stranger to our guest room. He thanked me for convincing my parents to let him rest in our house for a night. Or at least, while I collected his thoughts. 
After that, mom put me in bed. I can't so I guess this keeps Michael, track. But I knew he wasn't a bad person. This or keeps. At least he didn't look, you know, dangerous. All I right. was young, so I guess I just didn't know any better. Certainly didn't know what a burglar was. That's for sure. Um, not that I was implying he was. I never talked to him again after that. Well, except for when the storm happened. That's when I woke up on my bed. And I saw them. Random storm. Alright. Okay. Space bar to stand up. Or sit down. Left click to interact with objects. While looking up. If I click re left click. While sitting. I can go to sleep. Bonnie, Chica, Foxy. Okay, so these monsters might look surly, huh? Now, don't look at them too long, or you'll feel weird and see creepy things. When you do, turn on your desk lamp next to your bed. You'll feel safe there. And the more you stare at the scary monsters, the worse you'll feel. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Um, okay, first things first. Uh, Freddy, uh, the fuzzy brown bear. He's at the window, Nick. Uh, he'll peek inside. Close your curtains and keep them closed until you hear him moving, or else he'll get inside. Uh, then there's Bonnie, the uh, ill-tempered big purple bunny. Uh, keep an eye on your door. He'll be there. Uh, he's not shy at all. Uh, he will knock on the door to let you know he's there. Once he opens the door, shut off the lights as fast as he can. He can't see you well in the dark, and he'll leave. Uh, oh, but make sure you're sitting down when you do. Okay, uh, then there's the chicken. Uh, that one's a little bit weird. Um, check the closets often. Uh, if she's peeking through, make sure to disable the lights. Uh, she doesn't want to be seen, but ignoring her doesn't help either. If she does catch you with the lights on, she'll <sighs> and stun you. Now look, I, I know this is a lot to take in, but Nikki, okay? Just, just listen carefully and try to remember it. Please. Okay? Uh, last is Foxy. He'll be right beneath your bed. Nick. You'll hear scraping to the bottom of the crib. When he's Fuck me, be man. If you see his hook on the back of your bed, because soon enough he'll be right there next to the bed. But don't look directly at him, Nick. Instead, pretend to sleep. All right, just pretend to sleep. Yeah, just lie down without moving too much. Look up and close your eyes. Uh, Foxy sees eyes as if they're big, bright spotlights. Okay, so if you pretend to sleep, he won't know you're there anymore. But don't open them until you know he's gone, okay? Okay, uh, so to recap, um, Freddy is at the window, so if you see him peeking, close the curtains until he's gone. Uh, Bonnie will knock on the door and open it afterwards. Oh, God. Disable the lights and sit down until he leaves. Chica will try to stun you by scaring you, so if you see her peeking through the closet, shut off your lights and don't pretend to sleep. She'll think you're gone. And Foxy will appear under your crib and move upwards. So when he's next to your bed, pretend to sleep until you hear him leave. All right, you got all that? All right, good. Uh, listen, I have to go, little buddy. Okay, just hang in there. Uh, they'll leave at 6 a.m., I'm sure. Okay. I am so fucked. Oh god, oh god, I'm so fucked. Oh shit. Why the scream? The scream didn't help. Nope.
Nope, nope, nope. Oh, God. Hi, Bonnie. Shit. Oh, damn it. Ugh. Ugh, okay. <sighs> Whew, this is hard. Okay. Hello? Hello, hello. Uh, Nick? Uh, hey, little Nicky. Nope. Okay. Hi, Freddy. Hi, Bonnie. Chica. Bye, Chica. Fuck, fuck, fuck are you. Fuck you very much. Chica, go away. Chica, fuck off. Thank you. Okay.
so boned. I'm boned, I'm boned, I'm boned, I'm boned. Oh crap. I'm starting to go insane. Fuck. Chica, go away, please. Okay. Everything's okay. Everything, it's only 2 a.m. Oh, crap. Hi, Chica. Go away, Chica. Oh, I'm so going insane. Oh, crap. Shit. Oh, that's more frustrating than anything else. Oh, God. Okay. This is all the time that I have for this episode today. I, oh, all right, I can't. This is all the time that I have for this episode today just because I've got, whew, I've got heart problems I need to keep under control. My heart's already pounding like crazy. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, Go ahead and please hit that like button down below. Also, if you haven't joined the Fuzzy family yet, go ahead and please smack that paw. I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, my Fuzzy family.